The Samurai is, again, another uh, gear motion exclusive rotational uh, movement pattern to strengthen the musculature of your core. Um, looking more about all these uh, muscle fibers that have a horizontal or diagonal uh, orientation. Like, for instance, your obliques, your serratus, your transverse abdominus, all those muscles. We're not trying to really uh, focus here too much on the vertical uh, muscle fibers of your uh, core. You know, you're different than anterior or the posterior chain, all right? So this is the, uh, the, we're gonna talk about the uh, footprint, handprint, and body alignment. When it comes to footprint, we're gonna have a Y stance, okay? Like so. Notice that I'm nimble at the ankle, knees, and hip, slight bend, all right? And then my, uh, my grip is gonna be monkey grip, about shoulder width apart, or slightly, or slightly wider, okay? Remember, the longer, you know, the further out you are to the joust, the harder it's going to get, okay? And the closer, the lighter it's going to feel, okay? So I'm going to hold it right here. Now, um, the movement starts, okay, by lifting the joust right here, okay? And then at this point, all you're going to do, you're going to swing, you're going to swing your arms laterally. And then perform a cylindrical motion by rotating simultaneously your shoulder, hip, and back foot is going to pivot. That pivoting um, is going to happen because you're going to internally rotate your hip. Okay, your front or your left, my left hip. There is there's going to be some slight internal rotation as well. So both hips will coil, but my right is going to do it. Uh, it's going to be more because I mean we need I need to achieve a 90 degree turn. Okay, let me show you here. So I start here. I'm going to swing my arms and turn. You see how my whole body is turning 90 degrees. Okay, and I finish when the bar is you know straight up and my arms are horizontal to the ground. Okay, notice my back foot is pointing to my front midfoot. And my back heel is up. Okay, I'm gonna bring it down. Okay. So I'm working the concentric motion or con uh, contraction on the way up, and then the eccentric contraction on the way down. Okay. If you don't turn, you know, 90 degrees, you're gonna feel pain in your back foot, especially right here. Below the big toe, this section right there. Okay, the reason, and that means that you have not turned completely. See, when you turn completely, your five toes are in contact with the ground. Can they see that, Jimmy? Excellent. Okay, and again, notice that straight line. Okay, back toes, boom, hitting my big foot. Okay, that's a natural. It should come natural to you. Okay. That's the that's the way to the body to, you know, to understand how to pivot from side to side. In this movement, what I'm trying to do here is I'm stressing the pure motion uh, lateral orbit right here. Okay, we have identified five when it comes to rotational angular motion. So here I'm stressing, you know, the lateral orbit to, you know, get you stronger in that orbit. Let me show you by turning towards the camera, okay? I'm gonna turn this way, and there's two points that I wanna make here. Notice the bar is gonna be traveling, you know, straight up, and I'm gonna then pay attention to the way I finish with my arm, okay? So I'm here, see, I'm here, I'm square, okay? Now as I turn, shoulder, hip, shoulder, hip, turn, back foot, pivot, and then at the end here, notice the bar is slightly angled. That's because I want my arm to be straight. Okay, you don't want to be here. When you're here, you are creating, you're creating internal shoulder rotation. Okay, when I'm here, like so. Okay, I already feel like I'm feeling trapped, like somebody choking me. Okay, you don't want to have, you know, you don't want to be in that situation. So actually, you overdo it once you go this way. You want to go right here. Okay, so the bar is going to have a slight angle, but your arm is going to be straight. Okay, so left. Arms stay on the left, right stay on the right. Let me show you one, once again. Right here. 
swinging the bar. Let's do it right here. Okay. Now, right here, um, at, at the finish, you're going to be seeing more on the back foot. Okay. So I am leaning slightly back. Notice the diagonal angle of my body from this side. Okay. Watch. See? You see the diagonal line from the front foot, you know, that goes go through my left leg and my trunk. Okay, and that's where you want to be at. Okay? You don't want to be here. You could, but you know, that's okay. It's okay. Better. Okay? Okay. So this is okay. This is badass. Alright? Plus, you know you're doing it right because you're also gonna feel a lot of tension right here on your abductor. Okay? There is so much muscle activation in, around, around your core muscles, your hip muscles, that it's really hard to tell. I mean, what you see doesn't do justice what I'm feeling. Okay? What you see is the rotational movement, which is dynamic. Okay? But how many muscles are working in your body? It is really hard to, to, to name all of them. You have to feel it. 